hi guys so welcome back to the channel still on chapter 4 chemical equation stoichiometry and at the end of this lesson you should be able to determine the oxidation number of an element and also write redox equation and balance it so this is the recap of what we have done last time so we, today we're going to focus on redox equation but before that let's get to look what is oxidation number oxidation number is also known as oxidation state is the individual charge of an atom in a molecule or ionic compound so for example these are the summary for group one it is plus one always plus one group two plus two halogen is negative one most of the time but it's special when combined with oxygen it will become plus seven hydrogen is plus one in most cases while some case it's negative one if it's combined with metal in that case it is called hydride in most cases oxygen is negative two but if it's peroxide it's going to be negative one so for summary in monoatomic ion the oxidation number is the charge of an ion if it's monoatomic for example like al3 plus the oxidation number for l is plus three while oxygen o2 minus it is negative two while for polyatomic ion the total oxidation number is the net charge of the ion as shown in the video now let's try this example determine the oxidation number of cr in k to cr of four so we have 2k plus cr plus for oxygen equals to zero the net charge for the whole compound is zero so k is plus one there always plus one because because group one while oxygen is negative two so we just replace the number there and then we get positive six as the answer for oxidation number of cr while the second one for sulfur in so4 to minus so we have s plus four oxygen is equal to negative two there is negative two there mentioned as the whole charge so as minus 8 is equal to negative 2 so s equals to positive 6 that's the oxidation number for sulfur it's a reminder it is compulsory to put the sign positive or negative now let's learn what is redox reaction redox as the name goes by it's a combination of reduction oxidation where they occur simultaneously so in this case the oxidation number is changing that is the sign of redox so for example fe plus cu2 plus produce fe2 plus plus cu kalau kita tulis dia punya oxidation number fe kosong cu2 plus plus 2 and then fe2 plus 2 plus 2 cu 0 so kalau kita tengok fe become fe2 plus oxidation number dia increase daripada 0 kepada plus 2 meanwhile untuk yang cu2 plus dia punya oxidation number decrease daripada plus 2 kepada 0 so kalau oxidation number increase oxidation kalau oxidation number decrease itu adalah reduction Let's check whether this reaction is a redox reaction or non-redox reaction. Caranya mudah kita list down saja dia punya oxidation number dekat elemen-elemen tu satu-satu. And then macam yang saya tulis di sana. Okay, so kalau kita check di sini. Okay. All these elements doesn't have any changing, any changes in the oxidation number. Okay, hydrogen plus one jadi plus one. Cl negative one jadi negative one. Na maintain plus one plus one so oxidation number of all the elements does not change so kalau oxidation number tidak berubah this reaction is not a redox reaction okay now what about this equation so we have 2Cu plus produce Cu2 plus plus Cu with no charge so we list down all the oxidation number below there and then what we have here is okay if we consider from Cu plus become Cu2 plus, the oxidation number increase. While from Cu plus to Cu, oxidation number decrease. Okay, so as we I mentioned before, if it's uh, oxidation number decrease, it is reduction. If the oxidation number increase, it's oxidation. So both are coming from the same element, which is Cu. Okay, so if the redox is done by one element, Okay, this reaction is a redox, exactly, but it is called a special one, called disproportionation. Alright, okay. Now, let's learn the ion-electron ion method to balance the redox equation. So, basically, it consists of three main parts, divide, balance, and combine, okay, where you have to divide the equation into two parts, reduction and oxidation. Okay. And then you have to balance AUCHE. What is AUCHE? AUCHE stands for atoms. Okay. And then oxygen, hydrogen, charge, 
and also electron and then the last part is to combine the equation so in a short form just remember okay d b c divide balance combine ao che d b c ao che all right there are two mediums kalau mau balancing the equation yaitu acidic medium dengan basic medium kalau acidic medium dia ada h plus dekat hujung equation kalau basic medium ada oh minus dekat hujung equation let's try this example so mno4 minus plus cl minus produce mn2 plus plus cl2 ini adalah contoh redox so kita kasih kumpul saja dia punya kawan-kawan dulu ini adalah first step yaitu divide so kita mau divide kita buat dua equation mno4 minus produce MN2 plus okay. and then kita ada Cl minus produce Cl2 so kita ada dua equation sudah so kita sudah divide so let's go to balance okay. kita balance satu-satu equation tu so kita balance apa? kita balance AO C so balance atom dulu atom selain daripada oksigen dan hidrogen di sini adalah MN lah kan so kalau kita tengok on the left and right dua-dua ada MN So, balance sudah kan? Sama banyak. Jadi, kita tengok oksigen pula sekarang. Oksigen, on the left, kita ada 4 oksigen. On the right, kita tiada oksigen. Jadi, kita kena balance oksigen by adding hydrogen. Okay. So, kita tambah 4 water, H2O, sebab ada 4 oksigen di sana. And then sekarang hidrogen pula. Hidrogen on the right ada 8. On the left tiada. So kita tambah 8 H+. So next part kita check dia punya charge. Okay. Kita tengok. Kita tengok satu-satu charge dia. Kita ada MnO4 minus. Charge dia adalah negatif 1. Itu dia punya overall. And then 8 H+. 8 darah positif 1. Positif 8. And then Mn2 plus. Plus 2. And then 4 water, 0. Water 0, okay? So, overall, kalau kita kira, on the left ada positive 7. On the right ada positive 2. So, kita kena tambah elektron dekat sebelah yang paling positif. Iaitu positive 7 lah. So, kita tambah berapa? Tambah 5 elektron. So, kalau kita tambah 5 elektron, dia akan jadi negatif 5 di sana. So, overall, on the left adalah positive 2. On the right pun positive 2. Positive 2, maka balance. Alright. So, next part. Kita tengok pula equation yang kedua. Kita ada Cl minus become Cl2. So, kita try balance dulu. Atom, Cl dengan Cl2 saja. Jadi, dua, darab 2 dekat sebelah kiri. So, kita balance sudah atom dia. So, kita tengok oksigen tiada, hidrogen pun tiada. So, jangan cari pasal. Tidak payah tambah H2O, tidak payah tambah H+. Terus, check charge. Negatif 2 dekat sebelah kiri, kosong dekat sebelah kanan. Jadi, kita tambah 2 elektron dekat sebelah kanan. Then, now we have both sides ada negatif 2 charge. So, balance sudah charge. Now, kita kena cek dia punya elektron. Dekat equation pertama ada 5 elektron. Equation kedua ada 2 elektron. So, kita kena samakan elektron dia. How? Equation pertama kita kena darab dengan 2. Equation yang kedua kita kena darab dengan 5. Alright. So, now it's time to combine both equations yang sudah kena darab. So, ini equation yang pertama. And ini equation yang kedua yang kita sudah kasih darab tadi. So, sekarang nombor, kalau kita perasan both ada 10 elektron so kita boleh cancel out sebab dia on the opposite side so kita cancel out 10 elektron so kita combine dua-dua ini dapatlah 2MnO4- plus 16H plus plus 10Cl- minus on the left produce on the right ada 2MN2 plus plus 8H2O plus 5Cl2 ok nah, mari kita check dia punya charge on the left and on the right On the left ni kita ada negative 2. Okay. And then positive 16. Negative 10. And then plus 4. 0 untuk water. And then 5 Cl2 pun 0. So overall on the right ada positive 4. On the left ada positive 4. So confirm this equation is balanced. Using the ion electron method. But wait. Okay. So kalau kita check. The final equation ada H plus di sana. So this is balance in Acidic medium. What about kalau basic medium? Okay, basically kita just ambil the same step tadi dan ini adalah final equation kita tadi. Apa yang kita buat dengan final equation daripada langkah-langkah tadi adalah kita just tambah OH minus on both sides of the equations. And berapa banyak mau tambah depends on berapa banyak H plus. Jadi kalau kita nampak ada 16 H plus, maka dalam 
case ini kita tambah 16 OH- on both sides dekat sebelah kiri 16 OH- dekat sebelah kanan 16 OH- okay and then kita settlekan OH- tambah dengan H+ dia akan jadi H2O okay jadi kita ada 16 H2O sebab H plus tambah H minus H2O. Kalau 1 tambah 1, 1 H2O. Jadi, 16 tambah 16, 16 H2O. Remember that. Okay. So, yang lainnya kita salin balik seperti biasa. Okay. Now, guys. If you look carefully, kan. Dekat sebelah kiri ada 16 H2O. Dekat sebelah kanan ada 8 H2O. So, kita boleh cancel out kiri dan kanan. So, sebelah kanan hilang semua H2O dia 8. Sebelah kiri tinggal 8 H2O. Now, it's time to check the charge. So, negative 2 MnO4 minus di sana. And then, 0 for water. And then, negative 10 for Cl minus. Positive 4 for Mn2 plus di sana ada 2. So, 5 Cl2, 0. 16 OH minus, negative 16. So, on the left ada negative 12. On the right pun negative 12. So, it's balanced in basic medium. Now, let's try this question. So, the first step is divide. So, C2O4 2 minus, pairing the CO2. MnO4 minus, pairing the MnO2 plus. And then, we have H plus and H2O. So, sila abaikan. Sebab, dia akan muncul juga nanti di ujung soalan. So, first kita ada C2O4 2 minus. So, CO2. So, kita balancekan dia punya atom dulu. Darab 2 saja di sana. So, kita sudah balancekan karbon dia 2, 2. And oxygen pun automatic balance. 4, 4. So, tidak perlu lagi buat apa-apa dengan dia punya uh, oksigen di sana. So, ada 4 oksigen di sisi kiri, ada 4 oksigen di kanan. So, now hydrogen tidak perlu tambah apa-apa lah. Now, let's go to charge. Charge negative 2 on the left, 0 on the right. So, kita tambah 2 elektron on the right. So, kita dapat negative 2, negative 2. Balance. Now, the other equation, MnO4 minus produce Mn2 plus. So, kalau kita tengok, ada 1, 1 Mn sudah. So, on the right, kita kena tambah 4 H2O sebab kita mau balancekan oksigen. And then, kita ada 8 H plus di sebelah kiri kita tambah sebab mau balancekan hidrogen. So, kita tengok charge pula lepas tu. So, di sebelah kiri ada positive 7. Sebelah kanan, positive 2. So, kita kena tambah elektron dekat sebelah kiri supaya dia jadi overall negative, positive 2 juga. So, balance sudah. Now, let's combine both equations. So, kita... Ya, ini ada dua equation tadi. So, kita check. So, first make sure dia punya arrow tu selari ya. Atas bawah. So, kita senang mau pantau kiri dan kanan. So, equation pertama ada dua elektron. Equation yang kuda ada 5 electrons. So, apa kita kena buat? Okay. Equation pertama kita darab dengan 5. Equation kedua kita darab dengan 2. Dan hasilnya adalah S follow. Ya. Yeah. So, both ada 10 electrons sekarang. So, we can combine both equations. So, kita cancel out electrons. And kita tulis, the final equation is 5C2O4 2 minus plus 2MnO4 minus plus 16H plus produce 10CO2 plus 2MN2 plus plus 8H2O. Now, kita cek dia punya charge. So, kita ada negative 10, negative 2, positive 16. So, overall on the left ada positive 4. Now, on the right hand side, kita ada 0 positive 4 and then 0 so overall is positive 4 so both are positive 4 left and right so the equation is balanced and H plus shows it is balanced in acidic medium so after DBC voucher H plus dengan H2O muncul dengan sendirinya at the end of the equation now test yourself with these two equations and balance them according to the medium given okay just remember DBC AO Divide, balance, combine, atom, oxygen, hydrogen, charge, and electron in acidic medium. Kalau mau buat dalam basic medium, just follow back all the steps and then just tambah satu saja step plus yaitu adding OH- on the equation. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.